Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Welcome to my new course Docker. So we will we are so in the previous uh, series we have learned about the Linux and all those things. So now in this new series we will learn about the Docker and and all those things. So now before uh, going into the Docker, first I want to tell you about the hypervisor. What is the hypervisor? So why because so for the Docker implementation and all those things we will be using the virtual machine. Virtual machine means in the Linux we have already used the virtual machine, right? So the Ubuntu Linux. In the same scenario we will be using the virtual machine only. Whereas in the production we will be using the directly the <coughs> uh, not the virtual machine bare metal server we will be using it. So let's try to understand what is an hypervisor before proceeding into the Docker and all those things. So we will start one by one. So stick on with me. So with in this series so that you will be will understand while we'll go on one by one in this course. So now let's try to have it. So understanding the hypervisor. So hypervisor is a piece of software which creates the virtual servers on the top of physical servers. Here physical servers means let's assume that it is a system. So in the physical system, in the system, so system means your desktop computer or anything, the computer. So hypervisor is a software which creates virtual server. So that means this hypervisor will be there in your system. and using this hypervisor hypervisor we will be creating a virtual server so that is the main thing virtual server is nothing but a on virtual system you can say, you can assume so here we will be discussing about the server server like this is a system so don't mistaken with the server and all those things systems and all those things a hypervisor also known as a virtual machine monitor so hypervisor virtual machine monitor is a crucial piece of software that enables the creation and management of virtual virtual machines on a physical computer So here I am giving a clear explanation about the hypervisor. So it will monitor the virtual machines. So what I am trying to explain you is, so now we now physical system we will be having the one physical system right on the top of the physical system. So using the virtual machine we can have multiple guest operating systems like using the virtual server we can uh, we can use the Linux, Mac OS, Windows again. So like this we can install the we can uh, use we can install the different virtual machines. so that means on the physical computer we are having different computers so those are called as an virtual machines so you this virtual machines who will be creating is with the help of hypervisor we will be creating it so on the top of this hypervisor we will be creating these all the virtual machines so that is the that is the clear definition of this hypervisor you can call your physical server as a bare metal server as well so bare metal server we in, in cloud in cloud technology or in the cloud terminology so we call the physical system as a bare metal server also as well where that particular server will be allocated to a single user so that means this server means the physical system where this particular system will be allocated to a single user and we will not install any hypervisor on top of that it is called as a physical server so what i am trying to tell you is the physical system is nothing but we can also call it a bare metal server on which that means which on which the system is allocated to only a single user that is nothing but your system your in home your system which you will be using that is nothing but a bare metal system you can say it is or otherwise you can cloud terminal in cloud terminology we can call it as a server now on the physical server you will install some hypervisor to create the virtual machine so whatever the physical server you are having you will install some hypervisor so hypervisor is a software i told you right you will install that hypervisor to create the virtual machine so this hypervisor will create a virtual machine by using this hypervisor you will be creating virtual machines on the top of the physical server that means if you want to create a virtual service server you need to take the help of the hypervisor to create on a physical server so this is the <coughs> conclusion of this one so that means if you want to create a virtual server on your physical machine you need to you need to have the help of hypervisor so now there are two types of hypervisors available in the server So one is an type one hypervisor that is hardware hypervisor, and the another one is type two hypervisor that is software hypervisor. Type one hypervisor is also called as an hardware hypervisor, and type two hypervisor is also called as an software hypervisor. So these are the two types of hypervisors available in the internet or in the system. So one is an software hypervisor and another one is an hardware hypervisor. Let's try to understand the difference between these two. So here this is a diagram I am explaining you about the type 1 hypervisor and also a type 2 hypervisor. So the type 1 hypervisor and type 2 hypervisor so this is the structure you will be having. I will explain you one by one in this one. In the previous diagram on the left hand side you can see type 1 hypervisor 
and on, and on the right hand side you can see type 2 hypervisor so this left hand side is called as a type 1 hypervisor and the right hand side is called as a type 2 hypervisor in type 1 hypervisor you will see that there is no operating system on the physical server so that means here in this is the hardware so that means this is the uh, what i can say is uh, system and in this hardware directly you are having an hypervisor so that means in between this one you don't have any operating system <coughs> you will install hypervisor directly on the physical system you will not take off you will not take any help of the operating system so that means so this is the server or the system you are having directly the hypervisor will be installed in your system so there will be no help of the operating system so that means there will be no uh, operating system in your uh, operating system in your system like uh, windows mac or anything so there will be no operating system and directly the hypervisor will be installed in this one so this is called as an hardware hypervisor so examples of type 1 hypervisor is vmware ex esxi zen hypervisor and hyper v so these type of hypervisors will be directly installed in the hardware there will be no use of help of this operating system and on the top of this hypervisor you can install your virtual machines after installing the hypervisor with the help of this hypervisor we can create the virtual machines any server that is created with the hypervisor is called as a virtual machine so you will be thinking that what is this virtual machine and what is this virtual server so both are one and the same only but any server that is created with the help of virtual machine is called as a virtual the help of hypervisor is called as a virtual machine so that means here in the hardware hypervisor so the hardware the physical system will be available so there will be no operating system installed in that physical system and a hypervisor is directly installed so the examples of this hypervisor is i have told you right hyper v zen hypervisor like this and on the top of this hypervisor we will be install we will be installing the virtual machine one virtual machine two like that so this one will have its own guest operating system so this is the what i am trying to explain you in that virtual machine you can install the operating system whatever you want there is no need to bother about the hypervisor you can install the workloads that is nothing but workloads means applications in that virtual server so in that work, virtual machine so whatever the things you want you can do it you can install your own operating system you can install your own applications and all those things you can do it <coughs> whereas in the type 2 hypervisor on the physical server you will install some operating system just like our desktop systems what you will be having so assume that the physical system is in hardware in that hardware we will be installing the operating system on this operating system you will install the hypervisor then you start creating the virtual machine so here if you try to see the diagram so first you will be having a physical system on the top of the physical system you will be having a host operating system that is nothing but windows uh, linux mac or anything on this host os so hypervisor so that means this hypervisor needs any host operating system to be installed and this hypervisor doesn't need any operating system it will be directly installed in the hardware whereas this hypervisor needs direct needs the help of operating system to be installed on the top of this hypervisor we will be installing this virtual machines so this is called as a type 2 or the software hypervisor so examples of this particular hypervisor is which we are using right now vmware workstation and the virtual box so we are already using this oracle virtual box right so that is called as a software hypervisor only why because that hypervisor will be installed only if the operating system is there then without operating system we cannot install this hypervisor you can use any of the type of the hypervisor and install the virtual machines it all depends on the requirement so whatever that uh, type you want to install the type of hypervisor you can install it it all depends on the requirement so normally generally on the production or in the production box we will be using the type 1 hard type 1 hypervisor whereas if you want to do some r and d if you want to do some concepts so if you are doing some research purpose r and d and if you are de developing some development means then we will be using this type 2 uh, hypervisor so this is the main difference between this hypervisor and all those things so hope you understood about this hypervisor concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you